So what I'm having here is a scene for a virtual studio. I'm uh, just using uh, two uh, geometries uh, for the talents in here. Very high resolution talents, as well as we see here on the wireframe. So uh, we have a huge resolution. Uh, no problem with the real time, and we're having these nice shadows. Usually everything needs to be baked uh, to have uh, nice looking soft shadows, so uh, if I would need to bake uh, the shadow uh, onto the floor, I have a problem with the light, because uh, my light goes on the floor and into the shadow, and uh, the floor would be bumped, but the shadow or the light effect shouldn't be bumped. So uh, what I'm having here on the floor is a uh, substance. Substance is... Um, a combination of a shader and a texture, uh, which is created um, on a procedural uh, way. And uh, we can use this procedural uh, textures directly inside this. So um, if I go in here first to my light menu, just to prove that we are calculating these sh soft shadows in real time, I move my light and we see uh, we are moving also the shadows. So no need anymore for uh, baking uh, the shadows. Uh, let me do something stupid, just grab this... Um, talent and move it upwards and we see the shadows are animated as well. So if you're animating in or out with elements you get even uh, more or less softness uh, depending on the uh, position where you bring your elements. So on the animation we see it's calculated from each angle all the time and uh, we have this really nice uh, light effect on the floor which goes through the shadow and uh, is moving uh, in conjunction with the camera. So uh, what we are using here is Substance. On this container I have a little uh, plugin, a little shader, which is called the Substance. And inside the Substance we have a procedural description for this material. So if I click on um, this material, I can uh, see this little edit window where I can adjust uh, or open the property window and uh, change the rotation, the scaling and uh, positioning of this texture. But more important, I want to adjust the properties. So if I click on this one, I can open now the property window for this floor. Uh, where I can choose uh, which texture size I want to generate. Now I'm generating a 1K texture. And if I go in here, I change the roughness of the wood of the floor. I see it immediately uh, on my output. Now I have a very high reflective floor. If I want to have a soft floor, I just go with my uh, roughness to a little bit less and I get this new effect. But there's even more parameters and each material of a substance is different because uh, these sliders are depending uh, really completely on uh, the material itself. So here with this floor, I can change the knots as an example, and I can change the fibers. But what if I want to have a, a complete new floor? In the old days, I needed to go, if my director wanted to have a, uh, a new floor with a different look in here, uh, I would uh, need to tell him, well, let's meet in two days because I need to uh, first paint a new texture, then I need to uh, bake the whole uh, scene with the uh, light effects and also with the shadows. And if someone wants to reposition, uh, uh, for example, the chair over here, if we move this to a new position, we have to bake it again because the shadow needs to get moved as well. So we see the shadow is calculated in real time and uh, let's apply a different material on the floor, something like uh, planks, wood planks. So we have a uh, big uh, database for Substance. So um, with the license of Substance, you get the full database and access to the database with about 400 different materials, and each one has different sliders. So if I uh, throw the material painted fence in here, I get these uh, planks with a little bit of old uh, paint on it. But I want to adjust the properties. So first of all, I want to have a higher resolution. Now I want to go and uh, change the amount of planks, for, an, for example. I want to remove the paint age completely, so I want to have this white floor, or uh, perhaps increase the paint age, so it looks uh, like a much older floor. So uh, I'm not really too happy with the light effect, because uh, the light should extend now to the outer floor as well. Uh, by the way, all the materials that we see in here is uh, substances. The roof, uh, the back of this video wall, uh, the table, uh, the floor piece over here, even the statue on the background and uh, the piece where it's sitting on it. Also the outer rim here. So uh, let's go and increase now uh, the light look of uh, this one. So I change now the roughness in my floor and uh, we see I get a uh, heavier light effect on this one. And because the substances are um, really uh, physically correct calculated, we see we have only light effects where we have no old paint. Inside the old paint, we don't want to have any reflections, and this is what the substances can do for us. So uh, with the integration of substances, or with the combination of substances and uh, soft shadows, 
uh, you can work way more, way faster than in the old days, uh, way more flexible, and you create just more uh, correct physical correct results.